we as jazz musicians, when we improvise and create, we are composers in present tense. What I'm thinking of as radical inclusivity, I'm thinking about Derrida's uh, writings about hospitality. And as I've reviewed the, the uh, material I want to present for you today, uh, that's the word that keeps coming back uh, to me. I want to talk about politics and, and, and religion a bit, spirituality, if you will. But that idea of hospitality, I think, can draw all these things uh, together. Why am I what? I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. Well, I'm getting old, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think broadcast from a ship out. So my process was was to talk to musicians about how they became musicians. When I spoke to John McLaughlin, he said, "Jazz is liberation." But when I get up on the bandstand and I play my bass. And I can see, you know, mouths, jaws drop. Say, wow. You know? And then the performance, at the end of the performance, it's been a mad, it's, it's been magic. It's not about, about uh, um, what you can speak about. It's about how you can, can paint the picture. The beauty of this, this art form is that uh, it's being created and, and given to the public, you know, on the moment, without any academia involved in, at all. And for what academia should do, as Buster said, there's a time for when you talk about that and it, it, it is explained to you know, the world, you know. Uh, but the best way to get it is, of course, in live presentation or, of course, off of the record, just the enjoyment of listening to this art form as, as with classical music. This brings us back to improvisation. In an interview with Bobby McFerrin, he emphasizes motion and a certain degree of indeterminacy as key factors for improvising. Um, this piece um, is, is one that's actually, we're ritually wrapping the block that this photograph comes from up in Harlem. So Art Kane's famous photograph. And I'm interested in the ways in which this home is maybe not so significant, this location is maybe not so significant, but this photograph made this location forever significant. And so the ways in which people coming together for this fleeting moment of jazz history. This is the right way. I come from the field of film studies, but one does not have to be an expert in this field to have noticed that jazz and film are both a magical pair and an extremely troubling one. Uh, from 2015 and on, we get films like Miles Ahead, Born to Be Blue, uh, Bessie, leading up to the last years, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and the United States versus Billie Holiday. In the light of the coronavirus pandemic, processes of profound change are currently unfolding in the interaction between artistic practice, musical communities, and social life. And recent research reveals two fundamental impacts here. The first finding is, as James Rendell from the University of Wales emphasizes, that physically isolated musicians have been forced to transfer their artistic practice onto digital formats. Our title for the conference here, Think, Act, Jazz Forms of Life, For Life and In Life is a moving title, both the structure and objectives of our call for action, which can be found on our website, 
presuppose a unique evolutionary motion of intellectual, social, and artistic creativity, one which we hope is just beginning today. Um, on behalf of the Betzalel Academy of Art and Design in NYU Tel Aviv, we are thrilled to welcome you to this event in which we have the honor to host and hear from some of the world's foremost experts and pioneers in the creative and intellectual worlds of jazz. Thank you.